When watching a movie, there's nothing that irks me more than people playing instruments really badly. Especially when it's overdubbed with someone playing amazingly. And I actually did a whole video on this exact thing, reacting to people playing instruments really badly in films. I mean, you can't really fault Ron Burgundy. And this is something that is actually even harder to do in animation, because obviously you've got to animate the character to play the instrument accurately, which is probably quite hard. However, apparently the animated film Soul has one of the most accurate piano playing scenes in it. And today I'm going to react to it. So let's get into it. My dad took me to this jazz club and that's the last place I wanted to be but then I see this guy and he's playing these chords with force on it it's really helpful that the music is here as well and he's playing these chords with force on it and then with a minor I went, whoa, 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 whoa. then he has the inner voices and it's like he's Super nice. It's like he's, it's like he's singing. And I swear the next thing I know, it, 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 it's like he floats off the stage. That guy was lost in the music. He was in I'm so busy looking at the sheet music that I'm not actually looking at what he's playing. In it. And he took the rest of us with him. It's such great writing. I know I shouldn't be surprised because John Batiste is an amazing pianist and writer, but. And I wanted to. I mean, he is accurately playing the right notes on the piano. Learn how to talk like that. That's when I knew. He's even got his hand like bouncing back off the keys at how it would actually be in real life. And his fingers and wrists are having to move and stretch to get the right notes and stuff. It's pretty amazing. I wonder how they did it, whether they mapped John Batiste's hand or how they did it. With uh, watching John Batiste's reference footage, then mm -hmm. pulling in the MIDI into the animation mm -hmm. and then doing the actual animation of the hands over the top of that. That is super interesting. So they actually got the MIDI file, which has the notes that John Batiste played and then the footage of him playing it and then animated over his hand playing it so they could get it accurate. That is the level of commitment that is required for a film like this. So there he's playing a C. It is in fact a C. I know this whole film is about him being a pianist, so it's kind of a crucial part of the film, but it's still pretty amazing when in real life acted films, they don't always play accurately. They just kind of cut shots so it's not seen like someone's playing. It reminds me of the final episode of The Late Late Show with James Corden, where it's just him face on and his hands are definitely not playing the piano. Once again, amazing writing, super simple. But it creates such an introspective and particular effect. I did a video on the up theme, but I think Pixar in general are really good at creating certain emotions with music. Another really effective thing that's used is when you play the same note twice on a piano, so G and G, let's say, and you move one of them two notes up, you get something called a tenth. And this is used all the time to create like a really sorrowful sound, so. Which is exactly what they've just used. It's also used a lot in pop music, like. But with this, along with what you see on the screen, you get like a really nostalgic effect. I mean, it's a really great movie. I'm going to have to go and rewatch it now. I watched it when it first came out and I haven't watched it since. But I think films like this and films like Whiplash, for example, and maybe La La Land as well, they really show the impact that music can have. And I also think Soul has set the standard for what's going to be expected for all animations now, where they've got to be really accurate with people playing instruments. Another Pixar film that has the most amazing music is the film Up. And if you want to know why the music for that is so great, then check out this video and I will see you there.